On May 15, 1862, President Abraham Lincoln established the United States Department of Agriculture, a pivotal moment in American history. The USDA was created to support the backbone of the nation, its farmers, and to lead on critical issues like food production, agriculture, natural resources, rural development, and nutrition. Today, the USDA has grown into a robust entity with 29 agencies working together to serve these missions. One of these agencies, the Natural Resources Conservation Service, began as the Soil Conservation Service. Dr. Hugh Hammond Bennett spearheaded its creation in the wake of the infamous Dust Bowl, a catastrophe that stripped away around 800 million tons of topsoil, with dust even reaching the steps of the White House and Congress. This disaster led to the Soil Conservation Act of 1935, marking a turning point in soil and water management across the country. But while these efforts transformed American agriculture, challenges remained for many communities. To address the decline in Black agricultural landowners, the USDA developed a comprehensive outreach strategy. This plan focuses on building partnerships with community-based organizations, nonprofits, private industry, and land-grant colleges and universities. A notable example of such a collaboration is found right here in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, where innovative community programs are making a difference for Black farmers and aspiring agriculturalists. Right now, there's a major focus on training young black and brown individuals to increase their interest in agriculture, both on the business side as well as obtaining careers in agriculture. USDA is very interested in this type of project because of the training it provides the young people. And this program project will help the kids in a number of ways. They will learn how to grow crop organically, they will learn nutrition values. They will learn the actual process of starting a plant from a seed and going through all the natural stages that this plant will grow and learning all the nutrition values again and all the healthy um, things that go along with it. We source our children from the community. They are either associated with some of the groups that we work with or the local churches. Their parents and their grandparents work with them. They come out to uh, different events that we sponsor and the children are happy to have their grandparents and their parents help them. I decided to participate in a peaceful class project because I saw it as an opportunity to call something new. And also, it was an opportunity to get into farming, which is something I've always been interested in. Some things that have excited me about this project it is coming back and seeing the plants grow. I really like that. And also, some things that I've liked about small scale farming everything is like really organic and like sustainable. Well, the main thing that has excited me about this project is getting to learn different plants and learning when plants grow in different seasons. In small scale farming, I learned that plants can grow together in the same row and they help each other grow and produce. Some of my most favorable moments um, in the program were building a hoop house, picking the vegetables, looking at the chickens, and just having a whole lot of fun with others. Currently, according to the USDA National Agriculture Statistics Service, we are losing black farmers at an alarming rate. In addition, Less and less students are seeking careers at our historically black colleges and universities relating to agriculture. Therefore, there's a big push and they're targeting this type of project 
to bring in more young black and brown individuals to consider agriculture as a career or as a business opportunity.